Welcome to another Inspirial tutorial. Today we're tackling one of the biggest problems content creators face, bad audio. Did you know that 50% of viewers will stop watching a video if the sound is poor, no matter how great the visuals are? But there's good news. Camtasia has a quick and easy tool that can transform your audio from distracting to dynamic in just a few steps. Let's dive in. Poor audio can be distracting. Many users forget to normalize audio across clips, leading to jarring volume differences between segments. Notice here we have three different audio recordings on the same track. Recording number one is normal. If you're like me, you love using visuals to tell a story. Now recording number two starts off high. We have five round circles which contain both our bold type descriptions. And recording three hits the clipping level showing red. Highlight the audio on the timeline. Drag the volume level of the audio track. How do we make our audio consistent throughout our video? Camtasia has a feature called Auto Normalize that came out in about 2019. Now there's nothing you have to do to enable this feature. It's on by default. If we go up to Edit, Preferences, we can see under Project tab, Auto Normalize is on. Every time you turn Camtasia on, this is automatically checked. If you don't want it, uncheck it. Every time you download a clip, the level is automatically adjusted. By the way, there's a couple other places you can find it. You can go up here to the Canvas Options. Go down to Project Settings. Once again, Auto Normalize. The third place you'll find it is when you click on any of the audio tracks and go over to Properties. You'll also see here Auto Normalize. Now notice that even though this the default was set at Yes to Normalize, that affects it once you when you download. Once it's downloaded, you can turn this on or off per clip. So all of our soundtracks have been unchecked as far as Auto Normalize goes. Let's go ahead and select each track and we're going to do Auto Normalize. And notice as we do this that each you can see the compression go into place. How they're all brought in. And if you check you can see that they're all the same level now as we go across. Let me give you a couple of tips. If you turn off Auto Normalize Loudness in Preference Setting and we go up to Edit, Preferences, and we come over to Projects and we have Auto Normalize, we turn it off. And then we did the same thing in Project Setting. Turned off Auto Normalize. And then I came up and brought down a new audio track, say right here. We see that the new auto track is checkmarked for the auto normalize. And if I sat there and went, okay, I want to turn that off, guess what? You cannot turn it off. Basically, you have to make sure that in project settings, that auto normalize is on. And then you can come over here and you can turn it off and on. So if you find out for some reason you cannot turn this on and off, go back up here in the project settings and see if it was turned off. So basically what this all means is that when you drag something down, audio down into the uh, timeline, no matter what, Camtasia is going to auto normalize it when it first comes in. Let's take a look at how to change our audio levels in Camtasia. Over here I brought in a soundtrack that's actually music. And I brought it over here to the right side so that you can see the VU meter. 
and see how high it is as we adjust it. Normally in my process, what I do is for background music, I will lower something down quite a bit, down to about 20% or less. Let's play that. If you look at the VU meter, you can see it over here, we're about 24. And that's kind of like where I would put a lot of my background music. Let's go ahead and remove that. The other way that you can adjust your music is by going up here in the properties to gain. And what you can do with gain is lower your music the same way. So I can play it and I can lower it down to around 10%. The advantage of using the gain is the fact that you can play it while you adjust the gain. The other way, you cannot play it while you adjust it. You have to move it down and then see what it sounds like. So if you want to adjust your music while it's playing, you can use the gain. Let's play with that again. There's one last thing you can use in your effort to change audio, and that is to go up to Audio Effects. And we can use, we have here, we have fade ins and fade outs and, and emphasize and those noise removal speed, we can speed up a clip. Uh, but what we want to look at is audio compression. And this used to be called something else in Camtasia a number of years ago. I think it was called uh, auto limiting. And we'll drag that over the effect and put it in. And we can see it immediately takes effect and compresses our music. If we were to play it, we can still see that it's pretty high. So if it's going to be background music, what I'd want to do is maybe go down to low. And this gives it more compression. Let's play that. Okay, so it lowered a little bit. The other thing you can do is just go up to custom. And in custom, you can manually adjust your levels, your gain, and so forth. So if I wanted to adjust my threshold, in other words, the highest it goes up to, I can do that. So if I would normally want it down around, uh, I'll say about 22, or let's see where we're at and we'll move the gain. Actually, that put that right where we want it. So it plays it at about the 24 range. So we can see that that's a third tool we can use in bringing down the audio level to where we want it. And that's it. With just a few clicks, you can turn your messy audio into a polished professional sound. Remember, great audio keeps your audience engaged and makes your videos stand out. If you found this helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more video tips.